Hey guys, welcome to Blue Note. And Blue Note is about timeless noted messages. So if these messages resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to help my channel grow and to help these messages get out to someone who needs these messages. Give me a thumbs up, you guys. So um, the time is 1.52 p.m., March 29th, 2022. So the song that I have for you guys is uh, Deja Vu by Beyonce. And the part that I got is, know that I can't get over you, because everything I see is you, and I don't want no substitute. Baby, I swear it's deja vu. So um, I feel like you or somebody else or someone else is thinking of this person all the time or thinking of someone all the time or just having uncontrolled outbursts all the time about this person or just completely just imagining things or having complete deja vu about somebody who they're probably in love with because in the song she's like boy i'm trying to catch myself but i'm out of control so somebody is really like obsessed with somebody um i'm strongly getting that but i feel like it's i'm getting the energy of it being very one-sided so that i'm strongly getting that I, I i don't really get i don't really have a lot of messages in this because i feel like it's like um one of those things where somebody is definitely always thinking about somebody else, but it's very one-sided and the other person is probably off doing whatever or worried about something else, not worried about them. I'm not getting a very exciting feeling about this. I'm getting a very uh, unfocused type of energy, like somebody really can't focus at this time. Your overall energy is expectation... Clarify with the Empress in reverse, followed by the Nine of Wands. So somebody's def with this expectation card, somebody's definitely expecting something from someone. Somebody is expecting someone. Someone is waiting patiently, hoping and praying that somebody uh, come forward. Somebody's definitely keeping tabs on someone, stalking and watching them, observing everything, seeing things at all viewpoints. Um, looking at things at all perspectives, definitely looking for a sign, expecting something or some type of sign or signal, okay? Number 28 can be significant. Is this Empress in reverse? So you have um, clarified with the Empress in reverse. Um, this is definitely somebody who is very insecure. This is why they're always expecting this person or you're always waiting for, for this person to come forward. This person have an insecurity issue because obviously there is some disharmony in this situation, um, disharmony in the situation with somebody who they're watching. This is why they're actually looking at things at all viewpoints because whoever they're dealing with is not expressing how they feel about them or whoever they're dealing with does not show them love or show them that they're interested or it's, it's definitely a lack of um, growth in this situation, uh, which is causing this person to have a lack of confidence in their not cause them because I feel like this person probably just already have a lack of confidence in their self uh they have a lack of growth within their self somebody who really is very overbear overbearing because I feel like they're not getting the answers that they need because I feel like they have a blocked intuition in this situation this is probably somebody who possibly um it's possibly saying in their head that somebody is for them or saying in their head that, that this person is somebody who they want to marry or they're expecting to be in a higher level of commitment with this person, but there's a lack of growth in this situation. Uh, somebody definitely is in a situation where it's definitely a failure. Um, this is definitely somebody who probably needs to do the inner work within their self. They need to gain an inner peace within their self, their personal growth, self-love and self-growth within their self. They really need to gain a confidence, acceptance in their self. They need to accept their gut feelings that this situation is constantly an ongoing battle. Clarify with the nine of wands. This situation is this stalking situation, this uh, watching, this predicting things at all viewpoints is actually um, 
an ongoing battle for this person. It's actually inner draining at this time because at this time, this is definitely some type of setbacks in this relationship or this situation that this person is in. They are definitely learning from their past, from the situation, because constantly this is like an ongoing battle. It's like a hamster wheel going over and over again of this person really predicting and observing things at all viewpoints. Keeping tabs on someone to get some type of answer instead of getting it from that person. They're not getting what they need from this person and this is why that song came up deja vu this is somebody who creates narratives on how their lifestyle will be with this person because this is what they're expecting from this person they have expectations they have unexpected um unrealistic expectations with this person um, this is definitely somebody who drinks and smokes a lot, somebody who do probably drugs or they probably take their self into this um, escapade of thinking about this commitment or thinking about a marriage with this person or a higher level of commitment with this person. They are thinking about them actually messaging them or they want to message this person. Okay. So I just feel like this person is um, in prison reverse. This is somebody who actually can't find an inner peace within herself to the point that she probably tried to be like other people or she's kind of like a wannabe in a sense. So somebody wants to be like somebody else that their lover is probably um, in love with. So they're in this energy of having deja vu about somebody who they're expecting at this time. Okay. Um. Definitely going through some type of battle within herself. This is definitely um, very energy energy draining to the point that is it's very tiring. It's it's like it, it's like somebody who definitely is grounded and wounded. They're wounded about the situation. They know what's wrong for them. They know that they need to move on from this, but they're still holding on for for dear life for some reason. Definitely probably getting some type of sign, and I'm strongly feeling like it's closure. Somebody's definitely looking for some type of closure in this situation because clarify with the six of swords, somebody's slowly healing from this because they're feeling trapped and stuck in this situation, okay? They know they need to change routes. They know they need to go another path because honestly, this is definitely tiring. It's energy draining for this person because they're dealing with somebody who is disloyal to them, Okay. They're irresponsible. They're, this is somebody who don't finish what they start with in a situation. This is somebody who break promises with them. Somebody who probably is very withdrawn and antisocial towards them and actually blocking them in a sense. They're blocking them off from the situation. Clarify with the Five of Cups. Um, obviously, this person is withdrawing from the situation and blocking the situation because they're abandoning the situation with this person, Okay. Um, this person is definitely feeling guilty in this situation and needing to, it basically, I strongly feel like this Knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who is withdrawing probably from somebody and they need to, they're, they're gaining the inner strength to basically move on from this situation. Somebody is abandoning somebody who definitely probably don't show them a lot of love. They definitely escape her from somebody who drains their energy it's it's really not going anywhere somebody's definitely focusing on a loss in the situation this could be a leo scorpio um virgo aquarius energy um clarify with this emperor this emperor is definitely um somebody who is probably being logical and needing to have inner strength to actually walk away from this situation um this person is probably very very ruthless in the situ in the situation clarify with the king of swords and reverse somebody who is probably very ruthless um very cruel in this situation they're trying to control the situation by being a savage because this is somebody who really lacks integrity this emperor is this king of swords in reverse somebody who is probably a narcissist somebody who probably abused their power and they lack discipline in the situation they're very logical but the way they go about things right now what well, the way this emperor is going about things is very um very cold and brutal very ruthless on the way they're probably leaving or treating this empress in reverse this emperor emperor empress in reverse is this is two counterparts but this empress in reverse is definitely needing to um 
work on their self worth, work on their um insecurities, work on their inner peace and um personal growth and and self love with their self. They need to work on self growth and accept their self for who they are and not try to be like somebody else because this person is treating this person like shit. Um, this emperor or this king of swords and this, this knight of pentacles in reverse, this is somebody who really don't give a fuck. This is somebody who's showing that they don't give a fuck. This is somebody who's showing that they are a savage. They're showing all their colors at this time. And right now I feel like this person may be going through some type of karma as well, because this is somebody who is, is weak and irresponsible as well. They lack common sense on the way they do things because they're completely disloyal. This is somebody who is also probably disloyal to their friends as well followed by with the three of wands this this king of swords is somebody who probably is probably uh moving forward they they make it some type of forward plan and they're moving forward this is probably somebody who probably could possibly go on, on a trip probably be going on a trip with probably their mistress clarified with this high priestess in reverse this is somebody who really don't give a fuck somebody who really don't care about other people's feelings um this is somebody who probably is being very promiscuous they're they're moving forward with somebody who is probably the third party or the mistress somebody who really had blocked intuition somebody who they probably can control because the emperor is somebody who likes to be in some type of control in a sense but they abuse their power they're abusing their power with somebody who has a blocked intuition this is how they have control over this person because they know this person don't have a very powerful intuition this high priest is in reverse is showing that they don't have um control but this is somebody who really do probably do some type of dark spell work or some dark magic behind the scenes clarified with the page of pentacles in reverse this high priestess and this page of pentacles in reverse is somebody who is doing dark magic to keep somebody to move to move forward with somebody this is somebody who definitely is communicating that and basically doing spell work on somebody to have them compromise with them to have them move on with them to make them basically make a sacrifice this is basically somebody who is forcing somebody to be in a relationship with them somebody is definitely going to be in regret for doing this because obviously clarify with the four of wands on reverse this is an energy that somebody is forcing or doing black magic on somebody who they see no that there is going to be no growth with this black magic is actually going to be blocked. There is going to be no reunion, no teamwork. There's going to be no success in this situation. It's going to cause an unhappy situation. And this person clarified with the seven of wands in reverse is going to be feeling defeated. Somebody's going to be giving up. This is definitely somebody who don't have no type of protection, but they out here doing probably spell work to force somebody to be in a connection with you. This is somebody who definitely is losing power of this connection with this person so somebody definitely is basically doing spell work on somebody to make them move forward with them but the spell work is going to be backfire and it's going to it's going to backfire like a boomerang effect it's going to go right back to this person and this person is going to be feeling defeated and they're going to be feeling under attack after this happened okay uh leo aries aquarius taurus uh, Gemini, um, Cancer energy strongly. The letters B K T I R H Q Z can be significant. Also, the 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 um the letters D M V can be significant. This situation is going to be blocked, and there is going to be a lack of direction in this situation. It's going to be blocked. Whatever spell work this person is doing is going to cause this person to be weak. They're going to get a lot of bad luck from doing this. The letters GPY and CLU can be significant. This is definitely something that's not going to move forward. This is not going to be victory or success. Somebody lost self-control of their self. They're definitely going to be... Um, it's going to be a lack of direction in a situation. There is not going to be, it's going to be a 10 of pentacles in reverse. There is not going to be no, no happy family. Um, no growth in this situation. This is going to be somebody who is going to realize they're unhappy with their choices. Um, there's a lack of forwardness in this situation. Whatever black magic that this person is going to be doing is obviously going to be like a boomerang effect. Somebody's doing black magic on someone who really don't have a lot of love for them.
There is no love in this situation. Um, this person is forcing this situation on um, this emperor or this Leo. Um, or this Leo is forcing this situation on this emperor or this uh, Libra Aries. Gemini Taurus could be doing this. But this is definitely somebody who is definitely expecting something and have unrealistic expectation in the situation. This could also be somebody who probably is expecting but I'm I'm with the funny feeling that I'm getting about this, somebody could probably be saying that they're expecting they're either probably either gonna be getting an abortion or this is somebody who is definitely lying about expecting. Somebody's probably lying about them being pregnant or they're or they're lying about getting an abortion. Somebody's lying because the Empress in reverse is somebody who is a liar, somebody who is very overbearing and whatever attempts that they're doing is, is actually becoming a failure, okay? Whatever this person doing is is just not working in a sense, okay? Um, two o seven on a two o seven p.m. on a clock at the present time. I mean, I'm just like really my root chakra is tingling right now, so I feel like this whatever this situation is is very uncomfortable. This is a very uncomfortable situation. Is 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 very cringing. It's like untrust trustworthy type of situation i just feel like this is um very weird so at the present time you have despair um yeah somebody's definitely with this situation and this overall energy that's definitely going to be some type of setbacks and delays and it's going to bring somebody some bad luck because somebody had lack of control they they Whatever they, whatever back kitchen magic that they did is really going to fuck them up later because it's definitely going to cause some type of disruption or some type of unwelcome change in somebody's life. They're not going to be expecting this, okay? It's it, this whoever is doing this is already insecure. They're doing it from a very malice place. Somebody who's being very malicious and very evil in this situation. This person's definitely going to be learning from this situation. I don't know when, I don't know how, but they're definitely going to be learning that whatever magic that they have done is not actually working in this in this energy. Um, at the present time, you have despair. So somebody at the present time is in despair. They are having sleepless nights. They're having nightmares. They're in fear. Somebody is definitely worried and stressed right now, and they're feeling extreme pressure. I wouldn't be surprised that whoever this is is probably crying fucking tears right now. Somebody's crying a fucking river right now because they're in sorrow and they're nervous right now. The number 32 can be significant. Clarify with the page of cups in reverse and the devil in reverse. This is really, this is not good. This is somebody who is having sleepless nights. And it's probably because of the spell work that they probably have done. Somebody is having sleepless nights because they was being very vindictive, very envious, very promiscuous. Um, somebody who was probably being very seductive. Somebody who has childhood issues. Whatever energy that they did, whatever black magic that they did, they were doing it by being very envious towards you or very envious towards someone else. Somebody was being very vindictive um, because they are very upset obsessed with you this is somebody who has psychological issues or they may have childhood issues this is somebody who really thought that doing spell work was actually going to actually kind of give somebody some type of mental health issues but this person obviously is the one who's nervous and stressed because they're having these issues because it backfired like a boomerang effect um Somebody's definitely in despair because somebody is whatever magic that they done it actually caused somebody to actually be detached from them because it backfired. This energy is um somebody's being tortured because somebody is actually detached from them. Somebody is definitely feeling extreme pressure because somebody is freeing themselves from this energy. Somebody gained their power back. Somebody got an epiphany that somebody gained their power back. Somebody is definitely overcoming an addiction from whoever this is that that probably did dark magic. Somebody is fucking nervous that some that the black magic didn't work they're sick about this shit somebody's crying because whatever shit that they have done they know that this shit is completely over there is no emotions in this situation um 
somebody's definitely upset because somebody's having a new beginning or a new relationship with somebody else who they probably got pregnant or they probably had some type of overflowing love with somebody's definitely in the energy of being happy and in love with somebody else and somebody is in despair about that because whatever black magic that they did to block this energy from this person not falling in love with this person or did black magic on this person to not still be in love with whoever they're, that they're in love with, it didn't work. It actually brung a lot of setbacks and delays. Um, it actually brung an ongoing battle to let this person know that this other person that they're expecting is actually not in love with them. Um, it's actually a, a tired type of energy. This person is going to be probably giving up in the situation with the seven of wands in reverse because they feel defeated. You cannot control love. You cannot do black magic on somebody and expect them to fall in love with you when they're not in love with you in the first place. This is why it is backfiring on this person. This person wasn't expecting this because they thought the black magic was going to continue to work. It probably never did work. It probably was just this person wasn't available for whoever they were actually... The person that they were in love with was not available for them or they wasn't talking to that person at that time. So at that time... The black magic might have seemed like it worked, but it was actually somebody who was probably just occupying their time at the time. But the black magic is actually coming right back on this person. And I really feel bad for this person because I don't think this person is going to have any good luck in the near future. Okay, Libra, Aries, Gemini, Taurus, Sagittarius energy, Leo energy, the number 28 three and nine can be significant which equals to the number 40 somebody could be 40 years old or 40 can be very significant um at the present time you have cancer and capricorn which is uh 32 and 15 which is 47 so somebody could be 47 years old or 47 can be significant 2 13 on a clock so this is actually a karmic lesson or somebody this um Empress in reverse, the one who's actually have an unrealistic expectation. This could be somebody who is probably a karmic, who's probably learning some type of karmic lesson at this time. They are definitely going to be in the energy of learning from their past because whatever this dark magic is going to be showing them that they did wrong, they're definitely going to see it in the future or they're actually seeing the karma at this time. Um... I'm definitely dealing with a situation of somebody who is about to either witness their karma or they're definitely reaping their karma at this time. They're seeing everything unfold right now. Somebody's definitely very nervous right now. Somebody's feeling very defeated. Um, they definitely did some type of black magic and failed to protect themselves while they was doing it. Somebody was doing it tremendously over and over again it was very overbearing to the point that it actually made them lose power in a situation because they were very senseless, senseless and sloppy while doing it okay i'm going to pull from the top of the deck this reading is actually very short and sweet and i love it because it really got to the point 2 15 on the clock um yeah this per this official person is definitely going through something this is somebody who definitely probably want to it's probably this is this official person this person is very uh, aloof and very withdrawn this person is going through something they are either sick or they're actually sick they're not they're not talking to this businesswoman or this person who um is definitely working or building a business in a sense somebody definitely tried to do something to put somebody in despair with an empress in reverse and it did not work whatever whatever situation that they was in with this empress in reverse it it actually backfired okay um let's see what's going on yeah somebody is definitely an energy of recovering from from this karmic lesson okay somebody's in night terror somebody's not sleeping somebody's having sleepless nights and they're definitely recovering from actually going through this karmic lesson somebody's going through their karma somebody's definitely having bad luck setbacks and delays right now this is definitely an unwelcome change at this time somebody's going through some type of disruption taurus leo scorpio aquarius energy somebody's definitely seeing libra Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy as well. Somebody's definitely 
going through the cycle of life or going through their karmic lessons right now and this is definitely faded this setback this delay was actually faded because whatever whatever they were doing this could actually be yeah strongly leo this is definitely somebody who definitely has no forward movement at this time because whatever dark magic that they have done is actually coming back for them 10 times full i'm <laughs> I'm sorry that it's not a positive reading at this time, but somebody got caught red-handed and now they're feeling defeated in this energy. Somebody really tried to force somebody to be in a relationship with them. This is definitely um, a cycle definitely completing or somebody definitely having unfinished business in this situation. Um, yeah, I just feel like somebody definitely kind of like played their self doing some doing some type of magic on somebody who I, i'm i'm strongly getting the scene on love potion number nine where somebody definitely did some type of um spell work on somebody to make them love them but when a person realized that they were doing spell work on them they actually look at that person and discuss this is actually what i'm getting from that i'm getting love potion number nine scenes okay if you ever actually watch that movie you will understand what i'm saying but i'm definitely putting that song in the description box below i'm also going to put the song in the description box below give that movie a try or actually see the description of that movie um it definitely kind of give me these type of vibes never try to force somebody to be in love with you okay um I did put a meditation quote for you guys, and it says, No amount of guilt can solve the past, and no amount of anxiety can change the future. Somebody definitely is feeling very guilty and very nervous for whatever type of shit that they probably put their self into and whatever type of shit that they probably caused is actually coming back to them 10 times fold. Don't try to do no dark magic on somebody. Don't try to dark do dark magic at all and think that you're invincible because dark magic will always come back. Okay? Um, The time is 2.18 p.m march 29th 2022 i hope this reading is very helpful for you guys um i i don't know what else to say with this situation i don't even know anything good to say because it's looking like somebody's definitely going through karma right now for doing dark spell work okay but i love you guys smooches